Hey guys, what's up? Synergy here, and I'm bringing you a brand new video. This one's going to be another capture the flag for you guys. So basically what we're going to be working on this one is basically just defensive abilities. And the burn card that we're actually going to be using is the personal alarm system. Now you're going to ex... Um, sorry, slurring my words there. Uh, you're going to see exactly why this burn card is very useful for defending and capture the flag. Um, what a lot of people do is they don't actually use things like these. They use things like the satchel charge or the art grenades. And they're by far from the best, to be honest. The art mines will do the shit for you, especially if you've got those burn cards, guys. So you're basically going to see me in this middle building. What I'm doing is I'm just placing them at every possible entrance that you get. Now, it does say unlimited, by the way, but that doesn't mean that it's unlimited completely. Just to let you know a little trick with this, if you place too many down, basically your other ones will actually disappear over time as well. And we're just waiting for people to start attacking us, and that was a pretty easy kill to pick up, even though it did get red marked there. Okay. Right, so I'm actually playing with the public on this one, guys, so I'm not in my team at the moment, so this is just a public gameplay. Um, you're going to see exactly what I do, how I defend, and basically how I sort of just stop the enemy team from scoring any flag captures or anything like that. You can see that naked gamer, I knew he was just running into me art mines, so I'm not going to really bother with um, just... Uh, man, it's one of those days. So I'm not really going to bother just going confronting him when I know he's running straight into the art mines. And I've got the personal alarm system so I can just plant him straight back down. Um, obviously I am checking the screen as well because people can zip line across here as well. You're going to see that a little bit later on in this gameplay. There you go. In fact, I said you're going to see it a little bit later on and then it just happened. So yeah, that's life. <laughs> okay, so basically I've got a good overview here so we can see exactly where they're coming from and stuff like that. Obviously I've not seen any pilots around there so I'm just okay, completely defending. I've got my Titan in so I'm going to call my Titan into guard mode guys. Um, obviously it is an easy kill for them but if they're rushing over that Titan's going to pick up a few kills. Especially if you've got a thing called equipped called the Guardian Chip. So the Guardian Chip is basically a Titan that can aim with more accuracy. Right, so for the first part of this video, it's going to be a little bit boring for you to watch because there's not too much action, but it is a CTF game and basically what I'm doing is I'm playing the game type. Um, what I've got is I've got a public player who I picked up, which is Black Swan. Um, basically, I'm letting him do the flag captures so we can get all these points and everything like that. He can get fast XP. I obviously don't need XP anymore because I'm ranked G10 and ranked 50 already. Um, that took me about three days to do that one. So, moving on. Right, so this is basically how you average your high KDs for, yeah, and basically sort of like a KD boost in a way. Um, if you know how to play the game types and if you know how not to be stupid or just run into the centre of the map, for example, and stuff like that, people will say the, I'll probably get a lot of hate for this for camping. However, it's capture the flag, so I'm defending as the flag says the defend, so if you've got a problem with that, it's the game type, so screw you guys, I'm not going on. Right, so anyway guys, we are moving on, so obviously I'm still using these art mines at the moment, you can see the countdown timer is on 3 minutes 13 and going down. Um, my Titan's just picked up a nice double kill there, so that's going to get added on to my score and stuff like that. What I'll do with you guys is I bring the Capture the Flag gameplays as they come, and basically every gameplay that I come, I'm going to upload. And uh, it's not just going to be Capture the Flag, my YouTube has plenty of videos. For example, Attrition 163 points, Attrition 143 points, 120 points against high ranks. High ranks gameplays, challenge tutorials, tips, tricks, you name it, I've got it basically. And I'm going to be bringing out much, much more content. And I am looking forward to the new patch notes. Um, if you've not noticed anything about the patch notes, uh, basically 
There's a lot of new burn cards coming in. There's going to be things like 2v2 Last Titan Standing, which will be pretty fun to live stream. I think I might do a live stream on that for you guys, and I'll try and work out and see if I can get a face cam working. Obviously, my team in this gameplay at the moment, he's got the flag and he's just going to work his way over. I have no idea how Black Swan hasn't really picked up any deaths here, to be honest with you. He just seems free to run it. And I'm just going to take out this one here. Obviously, my game sound, it's a little bit out in this film. It was out in the other one. Unfortunately, my Elgato fucked up on the recent two videos. But that shouldn't happen again, guys. So I do apologise for that. You see that human comes straight through the, the art man on his body. And we'll just finish him off. I kind of get in Black Swan's way here. I'm like, you're not getting that flag, bro. Okay, so you can see basically 9-0 flawless with the art grenades, and I do actually pick up a death in this gameplay, guys. The other team, uh, there's a G6, a G3, and a G2. Other than that, it's nothing really too special for you, um, but the special ones are going to end up coming for you, so it's one of those for you. Um, this is just basically teaching you different methods into which you can fend at different sides on different sides of the map and stuff like that. Um, we are just going to move on into the game. Even further. Hoorah. Okay, so, um, what can we talk about right now? Well, it's pretty obvious that I'm still using these personal alarm systems because I've not lost my burn card, and that's a good thing. If you don't lose your burn card, you're going to get a huge advantage for when they come in, as proven there. And there you go, we get another unstoppable. Okay, so that's a 10 streak, I think it is. I can't actually remember how I died, to be honest, so I'm looking forward to seeing that one myself as a commentator. Yo, you can see Nibex got... Ah, oh, right, yeah, now I remember how I died. Um, it was pretty newbie, to be honest with you. Um, you're going to see it exactly. I won't ruin the moment for you guys. I'm going to let you get to that when we get to it. There you go. We take out that human there. Nice and easy kill. If you want to run in the open, um, basically it's going to be easy kills for you guys. So that's a way of racking up your kills. But don't bear in mind, it is capture the flag, um, it's pretty sad if you just sit in the middle of the map and just kill everything you see, because that's not really playing the game type, is it? It's no fun. Simple as that. So obviously I'm being cautious at the moment, but what I'm doing is I'm just getting, making sure I'm in a position to have eyes on Black Swan, just in case anybody does take him out or anything like that. And you can see him just coming across here now. There you go, you can see him jumping up in the air. And you see on the roof there, that little shot. Okay, so we know he's on the roof and he's shooting us now. Red marker, and unfortunately he takes me out there. Pretty good position for him to be in, but obviously that guy's not playing the game type or anything like that. So what we're going to do is we're going to go straight back up there and we're going to hunt this guy down. Um, Realise that I can't get up that way, that was pretty dumb of me. And then we get up onto here, we're under him, where the frick's he gone? Okay, so the guy's basically disappeared on us, so chances are he started playing, oh no, his gun's there, so somebody else has actually taken him out, correct me mistaken. See, human down there, and there you go, we'll use the tricks against themselves. So, we're actually using the roof this time. As you can see, I've got the personal alarm system still activated, therefore I'm going to cover the one route up, so I know that they're not going to come from the armor, they've either got to shoot from the side roof, or from below, quite literally. <laughs> right, so we just help out that Titan over there by taking a little bit of damage on that Titan, and hopefully that Titan should go down pretty damn fast. See this guy running across the roof, and that's going to be a nice kill for us, if I can actually hit the fucker. <laughs> There you go, there you go, he's dead, he's dead. Okay, somebody rode on me Titan and we'll just take him off the Titan as well. Obviously that Titan's gonna be lost now. 
I had a choice of basically whether to go in the actual Titan and then start shooting the pilots as they come across, which I could have done to be honest with you, but I just thought it'd be a bit more fun to shoot them to be honest. Because, yeah, I've been in Titans a lot and I need, I need some, uh, it's quite constricted in there. Okay, so obviously I've got the aerial view here, so I know exactly where they're going to be coming from. Obviously if they look up here, I'm just going to duck straight behind, get eyes on them again and take them out. Another Titan up here using quad rocket so I know I can get damage on him while being able to dodge whatever fire incomes at me. And unfortunately we do miss the gooser on the charge rifle on that one, that's what I was trying to do that. I just thought that would look pretty sweet if he hit it. We end up getting the pilot assist. Okay, so Swan has basically got the flag at the moment and all I'm going to do is check out where this guy is and this is an idea of me being blind and I'm actually trying to shoot him with the charge rifle just for the fun of it and unfortunately I, I don't even land a hit there, that was newbie of me. Okay, so obviously they're going to get the flag and there you go, we'll take out that human on the ground there. Pretty easy to take out the humans and we actually get our titan back in. Bearing in mind our titan does have the guardian chip on so it's actually going to be able to aim a lot easier. We have random specs with her. 16 for 1 at the moment. All I'm doing here is basically the reason I was shooting those spectres is to see if I could get any pilots just challenging me to be honest. Now this is a different form of defending so obviously I'm not on the ground this time, I'm not using the personal alarm systems, that's how it started off. But he ended up roofside and then realised that basically, wow, you just can't really die up here to be honest unless you're very 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 bad. So there's the guy, that's the idea of me being a little bit blind. My titan's engaging enemy infantry at the minute. The guy trying to sneak up behind me, he hit Marcus me so I drop behind knowing that my art grenades are full welder and then I drop down. So when I drop down I'm basically coming round here and just checking my surroundings, making sure Trying to get a visual idea as I jump down here, I kind of failed getting onto that roof. And there's a Titan over there, so if he turns around, he's going to have eyes on me. So we're just going to back off that one, we're not going to challenge that. And we're into the last 10 seconds, guys. Okay, so there's a flag carrier, let's see where he's going. There you go, comes straight on us, and we take him out. There we go guys, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe right, to videos. We what what we we're going to finish up this awesome gameplay work, with is go. just the Empire and the Empire ships and stuff like that. Another human here, there you go. Take him out as well. Here that points up here. Now what we're actually going to do is we're just going to use this little part here because we know they're not on our side of the map so they have to be on their side of the map and they're literally not going to run around in that amount of time. But there is one on the roof to my left there as you can see just taking them out. Nice and easy to get the kills here. Do 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 do. Just make sure they don't get any form of evac on. Now Hopefully, to my recent criticism, um, basically I got some advice saying that my game volume was too high and my microphone basically couldn't hear me, so hopefully I've sorted it out in this video for him, and yeah, that shouldn't happen ever again, so all my videos will be pretty good from now on. There you go guys, 20 to 1, capture the flag, defensive gameplay for you. Peace out.